Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to pro mix your vocals in BandLab. Now you might think mixing your vocals is all about how you set up your vocal track, but in actual fact, it's more to do with how you set up the other tracks in your song. While your song will be saved in stereo, many people will be using a mobile phone to listen to your song. So you might be actually listening to your song in mono. So first, we need to check the other tracks to make sure any tracks that are using the same frequencies are not hiding the vocals. So here I have my song. You will miss me when I'm gone. And the first thing I need to look at is the guitar track and the two synth tracks because they use the same sound frequencies as the vocal track. So they are hiding the vocals in the mix. And to do this, double tap on the guitar track header. Then tap on effects. Now on this track, there is already an effects preset. So tap on the preset edit icon. Then tap on the plus icon. Now scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen. And tap on the tone tab. Then tap on multi filter. Now tap on the drop list to the right of the word filter. Then tap on peaking on the pop up menu. Next, tap on the text box to the right of the word gain. Type in minus 2.5. and tap on save. Then tap on the text box to the right of the word frequency. Now the frequency range of your vocals may be different to mine, but the points of clarity should not be too different. So type in 1280. And tap on save. Peaking allows you to increase or remove frequencies at a specific point. Here I've set the gain to minus 0.5 so I can reduce the frequencies. And I've set frequency to 1280 Hz. So the sound level at 1280 Hz on the guitar track is reduced by 2.5 dBs. Now tap on the back arrow. Then tap on the X icon. So basically, this will create a frequency hole in the guitar track that will help the vocals cut through the guitar track sound. Now, double tap on the header for the first synth track. And tap on FX. There is no FX preset already on this track, so tap on the plus icon to create a new FX preset. Then scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the tone tab. Then tap on multi filter. Here we will set up the multi filter exactly the same way as the guitar track. So tap on the drop list to the right of the word filter and tap on peaking. Tap on the text box to the right of the word gain. Type in minus 2.5. 
and tap on save. And then tap on the text box to the right of the word frequency. And type in 1280. Then tap on save. Then tap on the back arrow and tap on the X icon. Then do exactly the same with the second synth track. And of course, some people will be listening in stereo. And this is where panning the other tracks away from the vocals will allow you to get a pro vocal mix. Now tap on the mixer settings icon at the bottom left of the screen. The pan knob on the vocal track is usually set to center, which is the center of the stereo mix. So the pan knob on the vocal track does not need to be changed. But the other tracks should be panned to the left or right by pressing on the pan knob icon and dragging up the screen to pan the track to the right or dragging down the screen to pan the track to the left. And so this will create space in the stereo mix for the vocals. Here I have a stereo drum track which usually stays in the center as well, as the drums are already panned. So here I will set the guitar track to about 40R. And the bass track to about 40L. This way, the guitar track and the bass track will balance each other in the stereo mix. Next, I will set the first synth track to 100R. And the second synth track to 100L. So the two synth tracks balance each other in the stereo mix. The sounds on my effects track do not play at the same time as my vocals on my vocal track, so I will leave my effects track centered. You will miss me when I'm gone. Finally, the vocal track volume can now be set. So tap on the mute icon on all tracks except the vocal track. Now press on the play icon at the bottom of the screen, then drag the dot on the line below the name of the vocal track, either to the right to increase the volume or to the left to reduce the volume with the aim of the vocal track level reaching about two thirds of the way across the master output level meter. You will miss me when I've gone. You will miss me when I've gone. You will miss me when I've gone. Now, 
Tap on the mute icon on the drum track to unmute the drum track. Tap on the play icon and drag the dot on the line on the drum track header to set the drum track volume level to balance with the vocal track. You will miss me when I've gone You won't miss me when I've gone Now tap on the mute icon for the bass track and balance the bass volume level. You won't miss me when I've gone You won't miss me when I've gone Then tap on the mute icon on the guitar track and balance the volume of the guitar track. You won't miss me when I've gone You won't miss me me when I've gone You won't miss me when I've gone Then unmute the synth tracks and balance the synth tracks You won't miss me Then finally, tap on the mute icon on the effects track and balance the volume level of the effects track. You won't miss me when I've gone. You won't miss me. Each time, check the master output level meter and make sure the line isn't continually hitting into the red zone. If the red zone is lighting up occasionally, you can adjust the master volume. Now tap on the mixer settings icon. You won't miss me when I'm down. You won't miss me when I'm down. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.